21 years of age. At a height of 5'7", weighing in at 140 pounds. With a record of a one win, no losses from Lawrenceville, Georgia. Fighting for Team Phoenix and Winston Jujutsu, it's Cody Black Red Corner! And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner at 24 years of age, at a height of 5'11", also weighing in 140 pounds, with a record of four wins, just one loss, from Griffin, Georgia, fighting for Team Abraxas, blue corner, Lance Evans. Right now, round one brought to you by Hooters, Budweiser, and Wild Bills. George and Yurden will be your referee for this bout again, scheduled three, three minute rounds, mixed martial arts. Wild Bill's Fight Night, brought to you by Budweiser, D. Geller & Sons, Flood Brothers, Paradise Funding Group, Atlanta Classic Cars, Inside Punch, and U.S. Entertainment. I'm Cliff Frewell, along with Kevin Gittemeyer, amateur MMA, Cuddy Black. Excellent takedown. Lance Immediate. Evans. Cuddy nice. Black. He's got he's to watch out for the arm bars, though. Um, he's going to put himself in a triangle here. Cody Black, uh, pretty good amateur wrestling background. He's definitely going to expect a couple takedowns out of him. Uh, Black fighting out of knuckle up. Lance Evans out of Praxis. Now Lance looks uh, long and flexible. People like that can be very difficult from their back, especially Ev if they're active on the bottom. Correct. Evans is on the bottom in the black trunks. Black is on the top in the white trunks. Now with Cody's wrestling background, it's going to be difficult for Evans to uh, do much with him here. He's going to have a strong base. He's got that underhook, though. He's looking to take his back if Black's oh. not careful. Yeah, he recovered full guard. Good job by Cody from bottom. Cody de does need to be careful here with a good posture and stay active. He could get stood up, and he can get swept. It looks like uh, Evans has shown a little bit. Definitely, definitely an active guard. Yeah, Evans is very, very active from there. That's, that's a tight arm bar. That's going to be difficult. It looks like he's safe, but you, you never really can tell here. Black need, doesn't need to relax here. It looks like he's kind of relaxed, and now he's got his arm out. End up in a leg lock situation here if either guy wants to go for something. Now he's got to be careful the triangle. He's, he's really setting himself up for a triangle here. He's got to pop his head back down. He needs to get back down on the mat, even if he gives up position. He can't pop up into a triangle here. For those that are new to grappling, an arm bar is always a good setup for a triangle. When the guy pulls his arm out, you just switch up. And Evans is showing uh, a lot of activity here from the bottom. Cody needs to get that elbow back in. He put it in and then pulled it right back out. Yeah, Evans isn't giving him any room to breathe. One submission right after the other. Okay, stalemate position. Referee's going to stand him back up. Now, there's, a, there's a big height difference here. Let's see if that plays into the standoff. Head kick. Evans loading up heavy. Yeah, he is. Black drops to an outside single. Now he's got to be careful because right as he initiates that takedown, Evans is looking for chokes. Very active from the bottom. Black's going to need to be active here. The ref's going to stand him back up. And believe it or not, it looked like Evans was going to get the best of the stand-up war there, too. If, if Black just thinks he's going to win a takedown battle, then Evans is definitely going to have something to say about that. Yeah, he definitely looked like he was comfortable with the stand-up. He's throwing with power, using his reach. Doesn't look like Black's trying to set up a submission or anything. Short time here in the round. And, and it's going to play out to the judges, too. A lot of judges award guys for attempted submissions. Oh, good, good. Into, he needs to go ahead and pass this for the judges. That's going to be a tough round to uh, judge because uh, although Cody got the takedowns, Evans definitely, Evans was very active and actually put his opponent in danger. Is that a mullet? I believe that is a mullet, sir. A lot of mullets here at Wild Bill's Fight Night tonight. I'm Cliff Farewell along with Kevin Gittemeyer. Sixth fight of the night, amateur MMA. Now, wasn't that man bald when I fought him? 
That's all right. I used to sport a mullet. It was just a long, long time ago. I was about to call you out with <laughs> nunchucks and mullets. Uh, and the broke down. videos with nunchucks and mullets and by Kevin Gittemeyer. I have seen it. The broke down Fierro and the pipe bombs. So let's not talk about that. <laughs> I don't think you can even say pipe bomb anymore. No, no, I actually stumbled across that old videotape, and uh, that will now be on YouTube. <laughs> you would be our overnight sensation. Although I do have a video of the kids making dry ice bombs on YouTube. And it's a family affair. Now, this is going to be interesting here. Amateur MMA, oh. Rob Bill's fight night. Evans loading up heavy. Yes, he is. Both guys swinging. Evans has a reach advantage, though, but they're both swinging. Cody needs to stay nice inside head tight. Nice kick by Evans. Wow. Evans needs to keep his distance, throw those head kicks. Cody was working pretty good from the inside. Nice transfer. Those takedowns are going to be inevitable, though. Cody uh, is going to get those every time. Evans really has to keep his distance. Cody, in a, yeah. Load up those jabs and throw that head kick. Nice finish on a – had a little single, switch to a crackdown situation, ended up in side, side control. They're probably going to get stood back up here. They're going to get stuck yeah, in a row. Cody's got to throw some knees here. He's got to score some points from side. Uh, fortunately, the ref's going to pull him back in. That's that's the proper way to do that. Uh, Cody earned that takedown. He needs to throw knees right here. Yeah, absolutely. He's got to maintain his position and soften his opponent up with some knees because uh, if he gets mount, he's probably going to lose it. As active as Evans is from the bottom. Correct. Guys, don't forget, December 19th, another Wild Bills fight night. That's Saturday, December 19th. Toys for Tots night. You bring a toy, you get a ticket. That's a good cause. And uh, the Undisputed Productions, Full Throttle Entertainment, Wild Bills is definitely trying to do that. Meanwhile, Cody Black gets full mount. He's got mount. Now, let's see if, uh, let's see if he can prove me wrong here. And yeah, we were talking earlier. In he's the, going for an arm bar. Gonna, okay, gonna, okay. Evans felt it. He was definitely going for that. Evans moved just the right time. Doing a good job of bugging his face. Now, Evans has an, uh, a big experience advantage here, if I'm reading this record right. Four to one. And how many fights does Cody Black have? Uh, Cody is one and oh. Okay. Now, again, he's doing a good job of bugging the uh, face while he's got him out. We've seen this from previous fighters earlier in the night. But he did lose it, and I was afraid that would happen. We're about to see uh, what Evans has got on top. We've seen what he's got from his back. He immediately postures up, which is a good sign. Absolutely. If he can work the body, he's got the height and the reach to really work the body here. And if even if he doesn't do a lot of damage, he's scoring points. And uh, a lot of these wrestlers, you see a lot of D1 national champs, all Americans come out and get into MMA. That's the most uncomfortable thing these guys have to deal with. They're not used to being on their back. No, not at all. And they're not comfortable there. Nice Good head, head kick. kick. Uh, the, the takedowns are inevitable, though. Uh, Evans Corner's really got to talk to him and tell him to keep the distance. Works Looks like the he's going more here. If Cody's not careful to get it. You're right, though. Cody does need to be a little bit more active from the guard here. At least work to pass, work to uh, he, he's gotta be damage careful the body. Here. He's got to be careful on that uh, right arm. If he could pass that guard again and get side mount, work a little knees. He needs to jump that leg. Stuff that, yeah, that, that right knee to the ground with his palm and just jump the half guard at least. The, the opportunity was there for a few seconds. Then Evans closed it up. Another good round for Cody Black. That wasn't near as close as the last one. No, no. The first one you, you could maybe say is a draw. It could go either way. That one I'd probably have to give to Cody Black. So if, if his corner's going to give him any good advice, to Evans that is, it's going to be to keep his distance, use his reach and power. And if he's going to throw that head kick, which he's landing, and he's definitely got a good head kick, that, that does have a little bit of knockout power on it. If he's going to do that, he needs to set it up with punches. Well, that and get separation and jab off it. Don't go head kick clinch. He's going to lose that battle every time. And his ground game is not near as active as it was in the first round here. Yeah, you're absolutely right about that. He was very active in the first first round and the second round was kind of non-existent. Now, sometimes when guys make a solid attempt at a submission and their opponent doesn't tap, it breaks them mentally. Right. And he had a solid arm bar, has some really good attempts at the triangle, and sometimes if you don't land that, you, uh, you lose confidence in it. Now, whoever implements a game plan is gonna win this fight. 
This could be up in the air. This third round could be the uh, deciding round. Third and final round. Oh, oh nice. Like, he was going for a double leg, but it looked more impressive than it really was. Yeah, absolutely. Like you said, he needed to set it up with punches first, and he didn't do that. He threw a haymaker head kick. The problem is the guy's got good head kicks and jabs. He just uh, real bad planning on that, on that move. Amateur MMA, Wild Bill's Fight Night. I'm Cliff Frell, along with Kevin Gittemeyer. Lance Evans on the bottom in the black trunks. Cody Black on the top. Cody's been dominating the, the, the takedown war. Lance came out firing from his back with a ton of uh, submission attempts in the first period. He's uh, first, first wall, and it got a come on oh. sweep attempt there. Now he's got to be careful here. He's got to stay be behind the elbows. Careful. Good hips there by Black. Wrestling yeah, experience paying off there for sure. Yeah, it, had it not been for the, oh, he's got to be careful here. Evans going for a knee bar. Cody doesn't need to relax here. He needs to cross his legs. Yeah, absolutely. Very active. Both men, good transitions. Yeah, had Cody not been such a good wrestler, I believe uh, Evans would have got that reversal. And, 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 well, he just jumped right into a triangle yeah, here. Black's possibly. in trouble. He needs to posture up, get both arms in or both arms out is the, is the rule of thumb there. Yeah, he's got to be careful. I, I think he's aware of it, but he's got to be extremely careful here. I mean, he's really playing ideally, with fire. Yeah, ideally, Cody just needs to take his right knee, slide it up, and put it on top of Evans' knee that's on the mat. That, that'll take away the triangle all yeah, the other place you could pass. Excellent work by Evans here. He's really uh, trying hard to set this up. And it looks like there's not a big sense of urgency on Black's part to get out of it. Now he, he looks as though he feels comfortable. He possibly is in a little more danger than he believes. Just when I was about to talk about Lance's. This uh -oh. could be trouble. This could be trouble. That is trouble. Now this looks this looks uh, like he's really got his elbow in a crank as well. It's difficult to tell from this angle. But if, if Cody's not flexible, this could pop his elbow out. He got it. He, he got it. He tapped him there. All right. And our sixth fight of the night. This is an amateur bout scheduled for three three-minute rounds. In the third round, at the two-minute and 17-second mark, your winner with a triangle.